going to look at fog and volumetric rendering. So you can see here in Umbrella Academy, um, you can even see here that actually there's a lot of use of volumetric rendering in which you can see light going through the air. That's usually when it hits small particles. Um, so we're going to just try to recreate something like this and we're going to look at an EV version, a cycles version, and we're going to look at how we might use compositing to make it look a little bit better. So I'm opening up Vigor, Victor Fog Light Start and the first thing I'm going to do is go here, I'm going to use my scroll mouse and I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to make it black. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a light, a spotlight. Now there's more than one way to do this type of volumetric. This is just one way. And what you'll learn as you do this more and more is this actually can take make your renders like go very long but let's do this at 100 right here and something like this i actually don't want it straight on i'm going to maybe put it a little bit to the side here and maybe rotate it a little bit like this Maybe move it just a smidgen more. And it, we don't have a fog yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this one right here and volume. So this is called volumetric rendering. And we're going to go volume and we're going to change to volume scatter. And now you're going to see this like kind of nice fog it's a little bit too strong let's put it at 0.4 and I and this is good it's looking good I see now that I have fog going on but I'm not really happy with my light I want this light to be a little bit thinner so maybe something like this all right that's looking not too bad Maybe I want to move it over a little bit, maybe up a bit, over, something like that. Now the soft edges here, that's the radius. So the more the radius, the softer the edges will be. The zero, the harder the edges will be. It becomes more apparent when you, when you use cycles, but now, you can see there's a little bit of jagginess. It's not too bad, but the way we can fix that one is go to volumetrics, change tile side to two. That's gonna make that a little nicer. It takes longer to render, but it's gonna sharpen that up a little bit. You can also turn your samples like to 256. So this is basically how you might wanna add in some, rend some um, volumetric lighting into a EV render. Let's make this 300 just make it a little stronger. Right. And you're going to see there's small little problems with EV. Let's do 200 with the shadows and whatnot, but it's okay. Uh, then we might render this in EV. And you'll notice that the EV render looks a lot nicer. So you see this, this is sharp. Uh, we still have some issues with the light, the, the shadow here. But um, the e, this looks nicer than here. And the reason is, if you look here, render is 64 samplings and viewport is 16, which is good. 16, you just want it to move very um, quick. So this is EV. What we want to do next is we want to move to cycles. 
and you're going to notice cycles takes a really long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine cycles with compositing. So I'm going to go render, render image and cycles. And it's going to take a long time to render this, so I'm going to let it render maybe right about here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this render. Okay. I'm going to cancel this render and I'm going to go to compositing. And if you hear noise right now, on my computer that's because my computer's thinking a lot and that's the sound of the engine of the computer going on so I'm gonna go to compositing I'm gonna turn on use nodes and it's automatically going to take these two images I'm just gonna go here and view render let's just keep that here move this over a bit and what I want to do now is add a new one. So Shift A, and I'm going to go in here, Noise, Denoise. I'm going to put it in here, and you can see now that this has really smoothed up a lot of that noise, and I have that shadow, that that fog going on, and it's looking a lot nicer. I think it's a little bit too dark, so. I need to go back to layout. I need to grab this one. I'm going to ramp this up to maybe 600. And then I'm going to render. Maybe let's go up to 1000. And then I'm going to press render image. And it's going to take a lot longer. And again, what I'm going to just do is I'm going to get this to the point where it renders just long enough that it'll look decent when in my compositing. So maybe about 30 more seconds. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to compositing. And I'm gonna go view. Oops. render and oh, there we go it's updated and there we go so this looks so much nicer it's a little brighter than the previous one. It's now kind of created a nice thing. And instead of taking 14 minutes, the compositing really speeds this up. There's some weird warping that's going on. It doesn't always work. You have to be careful. Like it's 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 actually kind of weird, but since this is so blurry or so foggy, it, it kind of works. So that's that's is a cheat. You might not want to use it or but it is a way to do it. And there's also fast. So this does it really fast. And this does a little more accurate. All right. And that's how we can do some different um, volumetric renders in Blender.